Community Council. Um, I am one of eight volunteers who hope to manage the Loveland Farmers Market this year. But we have some serious concerns based on the process and associated fees that were outlined in Chapter 732. And what happens is this places an undue burden on the market and our vendors, the way the current, um, the, the copy of the current ordinance is written. And what happens with these fees and these burdens is it makes our market very uncompetitive when you compare us to other markets in the area. Now, I communicated with um, Mr. Kennedy on my concerns, and I know he has um, taken these under advisement, and I understand there you know, have been some discussions with regard to the, uh, the version of 732 that was brought for a first reading at the last council meeting. So, um, a couple of my concerns were the, the whole permitting process and the, the financial burden that that placed on vendors, the insurance requirement, um, as you know, with the um, requirement to name the city as an additional insured entity, that's not something that insurance companies do for free. I think uh, standard charge is about $35 to do that. So right off the bat, if a vendor is required to pay a $50 fee and then add that rider to their insurance policy, we're at 85 bucks right off the bat. The um, permitting process could also pose a problem in terms of time away from the business for all these small businesses that um, come to the market. And their time is definitely money. We have vendors, as you realize, um, our vendors, our farmers in particular, have to be rural. There's not a whole lot of space in the city and surrounding communities, nearby communities, where there's um, room for a farm. So our farmers are coming from some distance to do business here in the city. Wilmington, um, Lebanon, Oregonia, Brown County, um, even Northern Kentucky and Indiana. So if you're talking commute time to come in and fill out paperwork, um, this could be two hours round trip, not to mention the process, the time for processing paperwork. Commuting expense, again, uh, with our vendors being as far away as they are, they may be traveling 40, maybe even 50 miles one way to come to Loveland. Um, that could easily, they're uh, accounting for their time, accounting for their commute time, that could easily add another $100 to the cost to do business here in Loveland. Background checks, fingerprinting, uh, that's again, more time, more travel, and added expense. Um, I don't know what the cost of these are currently, but the last time I had to, had to uh, undergo background check and fingerprinting for a teaching certificate, it was in the $40, maybe even $50 range. I don't remember exactly. So all of these additional provisions just add to the cost of a vendor trying to do business here in the city. And I know if, if I were a business person and I'm weighing the value of going to Loveland to um, be a part of the farmer's market, or going to one of our neighboring communities where all of these fees are not a part of the process, it wouldn't take me long to figure out that I might be reaching a price point where Loveland was no longer an attractive entity. And you know, we know that when people come to the farmer's market, they're also walking the downtown streets, they're visiting the different shops, they're visiting the restaurants, um, they are spending money in the city of Loveland, and I think we want that to continue. I think we don't want all of these shoppers going to Madeira, or going to Montgomery, or going to Deerfield Township and spending their dollars there. We'd rather have them here. Um, our mission, we want to create a friendly, 
comfortable environment where farmers, artisans can bring their product to the market, they can connect with the people who are purchasing their products, people who are purchasing their products can talk to the people who are actually bringing these in, forming those connections, and also learning about um, sustainable farming practices, also learning about healthy eating. That's what we want. Um, and we want to keep our business, want to keep the market and all special events here in Loveland because all of this contributes to a very vibrant and thriving part of the love, what we call the Loveland experience and we want to keep that. So I hope that in your consideration of possible changes to Chapter 7, uh, 732, that you took all of this into consideration and you will do some things um, in terms of these fees and provisions that are going to help not only the market but all special events. So thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, we are. <laughs>